Next news out of the Netherlands, Dutch anti-Islam politician revives controversial Draw Mohammed cartoon contest. Geert Wilders has started a competition yet again to draw Prophet Muhammad. He says, freedom of speech must prevail over violence and Islamic fatwas. He tweeted on Saturday night, um, and he called. He actually called for his followers to send him in Muhammad cartoons. Then on Sunday morning, he said that the contest uh, had allowed him to point out the importance of freedom of speech. He said, mission accomplished, end of contest, in a tweet that he wrote uh, with a picture of who he claimed was the winner um, of drawing Muhammad, and it was an angry-looking man with a beard dressed in black. Wait, so what What does it mean here? Like, the competition went through. Why does he, Why are you saying he revived? Oh. So why I'm saying he revived it is a few years back, they tried doing this uh, this there in the, in the Netherlands, um, and it was another politician who tried doing the contest. But the contest was canceled when they received a lot of death threats, oh. and the politician was generally concerned that not just himself but other people were also going to be murdered for um being in this in this competition so uh they ended it well he brought it back um this is the first time they've done that since since that incident hmm. i don't know why this is controversial we need to i mean i support this i don't know if i support everything this guy has said and done um a lot of people say he's a bigot I haven't looked into everything he said and done, so I don't know if he's a bigot or not. Uh, I'm glad that they're using anti-Islam politician in the title. I'm actually surprised that the independent is not saying Islamophobe, like they usually do. Anti-Islam is seems pretty fair. I'm anti-Islam. Um, I, 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 I'm very happy with the anti-Islam label rather than the Islamophobe label, which doesn't make any sense. Um, yeah, anti-Islam is pretty good. To, to, you know, I would wear that as a badge of honor. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but so the anti-Islam politician revives controversial draw Muhammad cartoon contest. Well, the fact that it's controversial says a lot about Islam, not about the people that draw Muhammad, right? Right. Uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Again, just I, like I don't know everything this guy has said and done, so. If I support, I support this, what he did, I support he, him bringing it back. This is a good fight for free speech. But if somebody goes and digs up something that he has said that makes him look like, makes him, that shows that he's actually a bigot, like, oh, Army supports this guy, Army supports a bigot. I'm just supporting this one action. I'm not, <laughs> I don't know what else this guy has done and said. I know he has said many things. I know this guy himself is a very controversial uh, politician. But again, this action specifically, I support. Uh, Tony Armin, in our live chat, David Fox is, is asking a question. He says, why are people so offended about the drawings of Muhammad? There are many drawings of Muhammad in Shiaism. Well, actually, most of those are not Muhammad. Most of those that people spread around are Ali uh, or Hussein, right? But even those... Ali, Hussein, and even Muhammad, if you look at the drawings of them in Shia Islam, their faces are not shown. Um, I mean, you have to really, you know, go digging deep to find some historical images that their faces are shown. But most of them, their faces are just like either fire, like they're so lit that their faces are on fire, or it's just light coming out of their faces, or something like that. It's not like actual faces, right? So they don't draw their faces. Again, Sunnis and Shias don't really see eye to eye on this. Like a lot, again, this is ha ha not all hash. Like if I say Sunnis are like this, I'm not saying all Sunnis are like this, but the Sunnis that are very observant, they are against all forms of drawing of any humans or animals, but they're very sensitive about Muhammad. More like if you draw other humans, they're like, oh, that's wrong. But drawing Muhammad is extremely sensitive. Uh, but Shias, they draw, um, they have a tradition of drawing animals and humans in their art a lot. And when they draw their religious figures, like their imams or the prophets, they just don't show their faces. That's what they don't do. I mean, I've never seen, like, in Shia um, countries, a huge reaction over this drawing, Muhammad. Like, this whole sensitivity over drawing, I mean, I've seen recently, but... Historically, this wasn't a, 
this has this been turned into a sensitive topic to be used as an excuse f for reactions that 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 helps you show that you have some level of control in in, in a ter in an area where there's no Islamic government you know what I mean like you know you could just for example let's say um, I feel like in my household like in my home I have less control over what's being done like like I feel like let's say as a husband I feel like my wife and my children they don't care about me and my uh, my influence in my family has been uh, is very small so I just pick something I see like oh there's some water and I just get like get really angry at everybody and be like this and like this why is this water here I just overreact just to show like look I have some influence here take me seriously right so I feel like this whole drama Muhammad thing in the past uh, uh, two decades or so uh, has been it's been turned into something more sense I mean it's not the only thing right um, they they this is what the Islamic community does very effectively they find these things to be triggered by on purpose like it's not that just they are triggered by it they want to find things to be triggered by it to exert some level of influence to show that they have some level of influence to make demands and exert some power over societies that they live in right so again this is very strategic and again it's not strategic because some ev some genius minds came and thought about it and they just decided to make this plan it's just strategies that work survive right so it's not like some geniuses came up with this as a very clever strategy it's just it stays so it stays um, and is used more often because it works. It's kind of like Darwinism of strategies. Um, anyways, Tony is saying, I draw them most days, sometimes happy prophet, sometimes baby prophet. And he's spelling prophet as in like money, you know, P-R-O-F-I-T. And then often I put my coffee cup on my napkin. Sometimes I wipe after it. Oh my God. Okay. People are just trying to be <laughs> friendly. All right. So, uh, did you guys have any comments on this? Nope. No. By the way, the, the, this whole idea of, oh, I'm offended, so people should shut up, that needs to backfire. So, that go draw a Muhammad. Okay? People draw Muhammad just to show people that this strategy, these strategies shouldn't work. So that's Many what years ago, Armin, we had a draw Muhammad contest. We yeah. should open that back up again. Yeah, we should open that back up again. Yeah, good idea. Anyways. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.